In a span of a few years, Mass Effect has quickly become one of the defining sci-fi franchises of this generation. Think of it as a new Star Wars for gamers. Bioware pulled off an impressive feat putting together a thought-out trilogy that lets players create a hero named Shepard and take the protagonist through three games to save the Milky Way. EA should have left the series well enough alone, but in all its wisdom, the publisher greenlit a new chapter for the series. Mass Effect Andromeda takes place beyond the era of the past titans. It's a game set 634 years in the future in the Andromeda Galaxy. Players take on the role of the Pathfinder, which is the leader of the Ark, and person in Let's charge focus. of finding habitable worlds and defending the colonies. Mass Effect Andromeda is a game with its own take on the franchise, and it's good to see that lead studio, Bioware Montreal, takes a new approach based on exploration. But unfortunately, there are some core issues that just bother the hell out of me. Here are the five biggest flaws with Mass Effect Andromeda. First off, there's the bugs and glitches. The game is riddled with them. I've run into some annoying ones. There was that one time I couldn't heal a fallen teammate, and his death icon just stayed on the screen even though I found a way to resurrect him. Then there's this weird glitch where I somehow got two Drax. He cloned himself on my ship. I'm a huge fan of Krogan's, but two aboard the Tempest is a bit much. I can go on and on about the quests that glitch out and end up untracked or conversations that just jump around the ship. These bugs are distracting. The second issue I have is the dialogue. Obviously the game was going for a hard M for mature rating. Except I am gonna f your up. Mass Effect games have always had sexual Mass themes and bloody space Our violence, but the back and forth the among characters are of littered with four letter words and corny responses. So don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. The lack of diversity of alien life is noticeable. Basically, in Mass Effect, there aren't that many creatures around. The enemy wildlife all essentially fall into three or four family trees. There are the hulky brutes, like the fiends of the i -Corp. There are the charging enemies, like the wraiths. There are just annoying bug-like creatures that are just fodder. These enemy types get recycled with the same behaviors from planet to planet. The lack of biodiversity is disappointing. And don't even get me started on intelligent life. There aren't that many new alien races out there. I have to admit that I do like the flexibility of the new combat system in Mass Effect Andromeda. It lets players experiment with a diverse set of tools instead of pigeonholing them into one class for the rest of the game. But why oh why did they make switching out gear such a hassle? Of course, players can equip gear they find, but to actually switch out whole sets, players have to go all the way to a forward operating station or back to the ship. It's a huge hassle, and goes against the idea of freedom in the game. With Mass Effect being on the current generation of consoles, I expected more belts and whistles. I wanted prettier graphics and smoother frame rates, but it seems this game has been a step back for both. The character designs are bland to just plain ugly in other places. Then there's the animations, which look awkward as hell. Like other flaws in this game, it takes you out of the adventure. It breaks the spell of words, gameplay, and picture that the original Mass Effect wove so well. And after five years of development, it's a disappointment for the franchise. That's why I gave Mass Effect Andromeda two stars out of four.